Hey everyone, welcome back to Hadaf Skills. This is it. This is the ultimate masterclass to fix that single most infuriating computer problem. You are connected to the network, the Wi-Fi signal is full, but your browser is completely frozen. You try everything and nothing works. We've heard your feedback, and this video is the complete compiled and extended guide, taking everything we learned from parts one and two, removing the duplicates, and adding the vital steps we missed. We have guaranteed solutions today. But I must insist, you need to stick with us until the very end. The final solution we will show you is the trick that works for nearly 99% of people when all else fails. Let's get started. Section 1. The Pre-Game Checklist. Don't skip this. Before diving into the complex software fixes, we have a quick mandatory checklist. If you skip this, you might waste time on harder steps. First, check the router. Go ahead and completely power cycle your router and modem. Unplug them both for 60 full seconds, then plug them back in. Give them five minutes to fully reboot and re-establish the connection. Second, test another device. Take your phone or tablet and connect to the same Wi-Fi network. If the internet works fine on the other device, this confirms that the problem is localized to your PC or laptop, meaning the rest of our fixes will definitely help. Fix number one, the quick win, clear browser data. Sometimes the issue isn't the network itself, but just a clogged up browser. We'll start with the easiest, fastest fix. Open your browser, Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. Go into Settings and look for the Privacy or History section. Click on Clear Browsing Data. Make sure you select the option to clear cookies and cache for all time. If your browser's history or cached images are corrupted, clearing them completely can be a simple magic button. If that didn't work, let's move on to the system level fixes. Fix number two, flushing your DNS cache. DNS, or domain name system, is like your internet's contact list. And when that list gets corrupted, your browser gets confused about where websites live. We need to clear this cache completely. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run command box. Type in CMD and hit Enter to launch the command prompt. In the black window, type in the exact command, pause for typing or demonstration, hit Enter. You should get a confirmation message that the DNS was successfully flushed. Now you have a fresh start for resolving website addresses. Fix number three, temporarily disable your antivirus. This is an often overlooked culprit. Some antivirus programs install an aggressive custom firewall that can sometimes misidentify your browser's connection as a threat, particularly if you've recently installed an update or a new security tool. Go to your system tray and locate your antivirus program's icon. Find the option to temporarily disable the firewall or the entire program for five to 10 minutes. Test your browser now. If the internet starts working immediately, you know your security software is the root cause and you can adjust its firewall settings permanently. Fix number four, checking your IP settings for manual entries. This addresses a common problem from our first video. Having residual manually entered IP addresses or DNS server numbers that are no longer valid. Right click the network icon and go to open network and internet settings. Navigate to Change Adapter Options. This opens the Control Panel view. Right-click your active connection, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and select Properties. Find and double-click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4. Important, verify that both the IP address and the DNS server address are set to Obtain Automatically. If you see any numbers typed here, delete them immediately and select the automatic option. Click OK. Repeat this exact check for version 6 as well, just to be thorough. This ensures your computer is asking your router for the correct current addresses. Fix number 5, the nuclear option, network reset. If you've tried everything above and you are desperate, we must perform a complete network reset. This is a powerful step, 
but be warned it will erase all your saved Wi-Fi passwords and network configurations. Go to Settings, select Network and Internet, scroll down to the bottom and select Network Reset. Read the confirmation carefully, then click Reset Now. Pause for visual transition. Your computer will automatically restart. Once it reboots, reconnect to your Wi-Fi using your password. This forces Windows to completely rebuild its network profile from scratch. Fix number six, the ultimate guaranteed fix, VPN and proxy settings. If none of the first five solutions worked, this is the final magic trick we promised. This has an incredibly high success rate because it corrects settings that are often hidden away and forgotten. Your system is connected, but a ghost configuration for a VPN or proxy server is hijacking the data meant for your browser. Click on Start and go to Settings. Select Network and Internet. First, click on the VPN option. If you see any VPN profile listed or any VPN toggles turned on, switch them all off. Then, navigate back and click on the Proxy tab. This is the most crucial setting. You must ensure that the option that says Use a proxy server is completely turned off. Go ahead and try your browser now. Disabling that proxy server setting almost always restores your connection immediately. Extended Conclusion We have now covered the most comprehensive list of solutions, from simple cache clearing to checking your adapter settings all the way to the guaranteed final fix. If this video finally solved your infuriating connectivity problem, please reward our hard work. Hit that like button, subscribe to Hadaf Skills for more essential tech fixes, and let us know in the comments which fix finally solved it for you. Sharing your solution helps the next person with the exact same issue find their answer faster. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.